Hello everyone and welcome back to the third episode of our playlist on creating a PrestaShop 1.7 theme. Alright, so uh, this is where we left the last time. In the previous episode, we manipulated this search bar, this component. We changed its behavior that we do when we do click actually on this button, on this loop. It does show us this input and here we have to simply type the name of the product or the keyword and uh, hit enter and that's it so for today's video we have first to fix this misalignment between the components and also we'll be adjusting the space between the components of uh, this section so yeah, you may be noticing that I'm saying a lot of components these days because uh, I spent a lot of time doing uh, react and angular so I'm kind of get influenced by that so let's go ahead without wasting any more time first of all let's see how to fix this alignment so here i would like to click that everything got shown right there then i could see all the elements and how they are um let's say displayed or shown on the page so we have a call here wrapping only the search widget and also here we have a column before containing um, the very first component which is the customer account and another column d4 containing the cart component very well <clears throat> so here we have also to pay attention to the alignment to the global alignment here so let me take a screenshot quickly right here and we have to pay attention to oops there we go to the, the alignment referring to the global element so we have to align all these elements, uh, the logo, uh, the menus, the search, these other two elements just on the same line. So you have to put that in mind. All right. So to do that, we have really to look also to these other components. I'll try to figure out who is or which element is causing this misalignment. And by looking into uh, just without any expecting any other component, I do see that this search component is a bit huge comparing to other. So it's taking a lot of height comparing to other elements. So let me just inspect it and try to see how much padding does it get how much uh, margin top and bottom etc something like that so right here we do it does have 42 pixel of height um so this is the form and let's get directly to the input that it's already taking uh, well it seems like there is no padding here oh there you go we have a 10 pixel of padding but even removing these uh, 10 pixel does not fix the problem because we have also the button that is also taking a huge height of 42 pixel so by removing that 42 pixel setting it to take its default height then the alignment problem is gone right as you may see right here but still the input is still ugly and is not pleasing to the eye. So you have another solution for this, which is playing um, with the, the position of this element. So what about doing a position absolute? Look what will happen here. So here I could do, for example, let's add it up again. Add back the padding 10 pixel. That won't affect my, la my layout, sorry. So just one thing here I have to pay attention for, which is the alignment of the element. So let me add a top zero and a bottom zero and a margin auto and give it a height, for example, of 14 pixel. And even if I grow this to 16, that will still remain at the same position, well centered comparing or relative to the input to the search or the buttons or search button sorry or the other component into my page so let me just go ahead and apply all these updates so let me get rid of these redundant properties and copy this so here if you do remember we've been editing this directly inside the search widget so we have only to search for this search widget form input text so let me just Control F text and this is what I am looking for but here look we have a condition only for small devices but this rule is applied for global devices or bigger devices so this is not the iteration that we are looking for but instead 
this is not neither this one, neither this one. Which one? Um, wait. So we are looking for a certain background color, something like that. Okay, not this one. All right. So at this kind of condition, I will pick this one, hit a top search widget and apply the rule right there. So let me do this for a second. And if I'm not sure again, I'd like to search. So this means that this property is defined somewhere else. And this is probably defined inside the form or the theme dot CSS. So if I scroll a bit down, if you remember here, we are under the components folder. Let's go to the theme dot CSS and see if we could find that right there. So it's not there. No problem. We could go the old school way and find inside the folder, hit enter. And we have here a rule inside the mixins. Uh, and the mixins, uh, yeah, you know what is a mixin? It's just a function to generate some stuff, some dynamic stuff in uh, CSS. Nothing really fancy about it. So we have this input text and it has a, um, a focus property here, a border, a color gray. This is the color that uh, I was, or that we were showing here or seeing. This is the color. So if I pick this color and go to normally a variables, files, this one it will be called gray so this is it all right this is the color that we are seeing right there 7a 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 so in this case as i said it's okay to set that property directly here in the component or on the module file all right this will guarantee that i won't affect any other uh input text that may be using this uh global property run yarn or npm watch so that will compile your assets uh, and we'll compile it as I said to a uh, production version compile it compare it whatever so just give it a second that it pick up the changes and all is green now if I move back here normally if I refresh I should see my properties but also don't forget to update the button here because we changed the header the pointer I think something like that so if you still remember that role is somewhere here so if I simply search for 44 but this is it so let's control a five as always and see what will happen all right so it seems like it did not pick up the changes so no problem to control five another time and there we go so it seems no, it's not seem. It, it's working as expected and the alignment is fixed. Now we could move to fixing the problem of spacing because the design is different than what we have already. Um, so inspect another time here and looking to these elements. So uh, I have column D444, which is not really good in my case. I cannot force them to be like uh, side by side even if I change column d1 this may break my rules right so if I change this one to, to column d1 and the other one to column d1 that will put them above each other's and it's become really ugly so what we have to do now is really rework the way I did set up these uh, elements so let's close all these files that we don't get distracted close this ones too now move back to our classic themes theme classic and go to template and go to where we should go we go to layout oh no sorry to layout not to layout but actually to partial and from there go to header because all what we see here is simply the header and if you're not sure again you have simply to inspect and get some classes some hints and go use your IDE to search for that class that is displaying that content okay pretty cool so this is the header containing this is the first uh this is the logo actually get added a small comment right there it's good to always leave comments all right that's the logo and a bit down we do find the missing or the what 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 do we say missing the the um the other element the other components and harry 
here is my our components the search bar the custom and the sign in and each one is inside a column default so right here we have to think about a way to display them and the very first thing i would like to do is get rid of uh bootstrap classes so i'll be leaving them by default the way they are displayed or the way they are kind of shown by default so and change this to column d12 and let's see if we do have a class of text a line left i think from bootstrap i'm not sure oops so text on line left uh and let's refresh this out and see what will happen okay so it seems like um we're not so bad actually because one of the elements did take the place did fit where we need it to be which is the search widget um but here we do have a call which is another problem we don't need calls right here so we have to go deep into each component template and replace uh, and remove that call so the very first one we have to go uh, will be modifying is the search not facetted search but ps search and dot tpl and here we have to remove this call so here i do suggest to add it an element a new class element uh, let's call this uh, this for example header uh, element all right so this class will be using it to target uh, this uh, whole wrapper later now let's go back to another component which is the cart or shopping cart component uh yep this is it just make sure that you are under the under the themes here we are under yep we are under the theme i missed that sorry so cart shopping cart and we have to find which component which template is being displayed here so again if you're not sure you could just play around with this or uh, inspect the uh, go ahead and inspect and try to say what kind of template is being rendered right there all right so nothing really different difficult here so uh, this is our class let's replace it with a targeted element and finally the customer so type customer here uh, customer sign in this is it and this is our call replacing it back and let's refresh back to our website here and refresh and what did happen so looking to this one we have our classes aligned uh, like header, <coughs> header element sorry uh, correct so this is default behavior of a div it will take the full width no problem on that now we could start by doing this so header element let's do display inline block all right so from the first touch we already start to organize things better all right now i would like to add a <coughs> sorry a border one pixel solid for example green all right no problem okay we'll fix this later now let's do um uh, what is align element uh display inline block vertical alignment well vertical align and let's do middle all right this is far much better now we must also pay attention that we don't break the alignment with the other element so i'll be using this um this uh, like a trick or tips just to use another window as a ruler here to to say if the alignment is okay also i think i have another extension that could do this for me which is i'm not sure that i install it in this new browser um that is no the font editor i oh, know it's not here but anyway you I, I just show you how to do that using another window so all is good for this one now we need to push all this element to the left right so we need to find a class from bootstrap that do text align right that way but text align right this class does not exist right well no problem um let's go bootstrap text align right class and normally we could get class name text just to find text left okay let's try this out so going back to this call 
So instead of no sense text, let's do text or right, sorry, not left. And do we have a specific class? No, we don't. All right, no problem. Let's go ahead and save this first. So I won't leave for sure the these ugly uh, borders. So normally let's get rid of this one. Vertical align. What about adding a bit of margin here? So let's go for margin from the left of 10 pixel. Okay, nice. Now let's go ahead and save this. So copy that. And the question now, where we have to place this. So since it is something related to various classes and not to a single one and it's kind of global, then the best place is to place that, to save that under the theme.css. All right, so go back here to um, underscore dev, CSS, themes, and let's see if we do we have a header here. Now we don't have a header specific element, so we could came somewhere here where um, trying to put it in a strategic place and organized place. Do we have a logo here? There we go. No, this is the header. Okay, this is actually under a breakdown, so it's not a good place. So this is another break point here. And let's scroll a bit to the top. Come on. Header include lg main all right let's scroll all the way to the top and place it here this is the nav the header top let's place that one right there okay quick look all green now let's refresh this out control f5 don't ever forget that okay so the element or the alignment is okay. The new rule is applied. Just missing this uh, text align or justify align stuff that is not there yet. We don't have that class, so we can create it. And if you still remember, I created previously a file called custom.css that I'll be placing custom content inside it. So our class will be text left or text right. Let's start with text right here. And since maybe I'll be using later more classes like left, right, etc., I would like to do this. So, and text right. So let's do text align right. Okay, nice. Now we have to update our header.tpl and just right here, let's change this to text right. Oh, not tight, right. All right, right refreshing just make sure that all is green cool and all is green all is okay so we have the alignment fix it too we have a beautiful spacing between all the elements now we could move on to customize the normally the the customer account to there is no big deal to with it so we'll be just updating the icon and uh, changing its uh, like boldness to something soft like this one. This is the end of this new episode. See you in another one. Stay tuned and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel and peace.